Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. You can see the hoops are starting to go up today and uh, lots of work to be done. So I'll touch base with you here shortly and show you what we get. Okay guys, so since this one is a little bit bigger, or quite a bit bigger than the other one, it has pre presented a problem where we're not able to put the arches all up at once. Um, they're gonna have to do it in stages and then brace them with the middle brace. Um, they're very heavy and they want to uh, fall over. So keep that in mind. This is gonna be a difficult task. I think that they're gonna be able to do it, but uh, geez, these are really, really heavy. So. I've done the mowing today, I've gone to the grocery store, um, my clean pool tomorrow is my grandson's 8th birthday, and uh, so we will be celebrating out here with some steaks, but today I'm going to throw some burgers on the grill for these guys out here. Now this Blackstone grill is a great quick um, cooking tool to cook hamburgers, steaks, hibachi style, anyway, so I'm going to get started on making some burgers while they're still working over there. We have so many things going on here. We've got the freeze dryer doing its test cycle. They're working on the high tunnel. Again, mowing, cleaning the pool, cooking us some good old hamburgers. So that we can keep our energy up. It's a very hot day. Our heat index, guys, is around 105. But you can see we're starting to get um, some overcast. We're expecting rain all next week and some cooler temps. I hope they come. So just a little bit of tidbit of information about me. It's my first job was at Taco Plaza up in Fort Worth. My second job was at Whataburger. So, secret, don't put these burgers until you see the blood come through. Woo Such a busy day. We're going to wait for the blood to come up here and then we're going to throw some cheese on them. As much as you want to, don't smush on them. Take the juices out if you do that. So that burger gave us all a little extra pep, but I mentioned guys that I went to the grocery store this morning and I want to tell you what I saw. It was a little concerning, but there was some, uh, some silver lining in the clouds as well. So what I saw were uh, shortages with um, bread, the whole bread aisle. And I, if, you've, if you've been in the grocery store, you know that the bread aisle is the most busiest aisle in the grocery store, but there wasn't a lot of people on the bread aisle, but I'll tell you, there was definitely a shortage in the bread. Now the silver lining is, is that I went to Kroger and um, they had a meat sale and I'm, I'm assuming it's because they stocked up, but I was able to get um, some T-bone steaks and some ribeyes. They had ribeyes on sale um, for $4 and, and maybe a half pound, maybe three quarters of a pound. But anyway, so we got some ribeyes, we got some uh, T-bone steak, uh, potatoes, a bag of potatoes where they're normally $1.99 for a bag, they were $3.99. So uh, I didn't see really any shortages with the canned goods. Um, I didn't see, the, the meat was pretty well stocked. It looks like I said that they had overstocked, but now a whole chicken I paid $12 for. Used to paying around $8 uh, for a whole chicken. And uh, the canned biscuits that I make my chicken and dumplings. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But uh, the canned biscuits I use for my uh, chicken and dumplings where they were used to be uh, 25 to 50 cents a can. Um, they were almost, uh, they were over two bucks for four. Um, I, actually, I think I used to pay like a dollar fifty or something and I paid almost three dollars for four cans of just the generic uh, canned biscuits. I'm gonna make my mom some 
uh, chicken and dumplings this week, so I had to go ahead and get them. So let's see, what else did I see that was concerning? Coffee had jumped up to $10. Um, I was able to get toilet paper, believe it or not. The Northern brand, um, it was regularly $9.99. I got it for $4.99. It was a manager specials. So there were some specials. Um, laundry detergent. Wow. Laundry detergent has jumped up significantly. And dishwashing, uh, dishwashing pods. So we're, um, I normally pay, I don't know, $4.99 for a pretty good size bag. It had jumped up to $6.99, $7.99. So I had to go with the Kroger brand which uh, we are starting to change our spending habits and, uh, and go, go the cheaper route. So uh, I did pick up a couple of roast. Oh, they had roast, buy one, get one free. So, but the roast were $13 a piece. So I got uh, two roasts for 13 bucks, which is pretty good. That's going in that freeze dryer uh, this week. So I've got several things that, um, that we're gonna start doing in that freeze dryer. So you wanna hit that subscribe button so you'll know um, how our things turn out. But um, also, stovetop stuffing, which is one of our favorites. And I did a video on dressing up your dressing. So it's out there too, so please go check that out. But anyway, the stovetop uh, stuffing was almost $3 a box. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but around Thanksgiving and Christmas, that goes down to $1.25. I'm, I'm wondering if it's gonna go down to $1.25 this year, since it's about uh, $3 a piece. So I picked up the Kroger brand stuffing, and I'm gonna freeze dry that. Um, I picked up some potatoes, because I'm gonna freeze dry some potato salad. So hit that subscribe button so you can see how all these things turn out for us. I also picked up a ham. Um, let's see, sausage. They had no bacon <laughs> or no sausage. So I had to go with the Kroger brand sausage, uh, breakfast sausage, because I'm gonna make a breakfast casserole and I'm gonna freeze dry that. So start uh, being in tune to what you see going on at the grocery store, guys, so that you know <clears throat> when your prices are starting to go up. If you have a freezer or whatever, if you're going to freeze dry, if you're going to dehydrate, you want to go ahead and uh, start buying now. I did not buy any canned goods today because I, I have to exhaust uh, some things that are in my freezer and I have to exhaust sink, some things that are in my pantry and then I will restock. So there's going to be a pantry cleanup and there's going to be some canning of some beef and there's going to be some freeze drying of some beef. So anyway, they're saying that uh, the mess is ticking up here in Dallas and Fort Worth. And I'm seeing it as well. Uh, my uncle passed away a couple of weeks ago. And uh, my aunt, they were elderly. They were in their 80s and 90s. Uh, my uncle um, did pass. And, uh, and then I have uh, one of my subscribers and one of the ladies that comes out and buys uh, vegetables from us. Her whole family came down with the mess and um, her husband was in his 40s and he passed away. She is doing okay and her uh, kids are doing okay, but what a shock. I mean, it's it's just, uh, how do we know what's coming our way? But anyway, so you guys, uh, be sure and start paying attention. Um, we are doing everything we can to prepare. So let me go show you what's going on with the high tunnel. So here's the man behind the hands and he is uh, checking on the testing of our freeze dryer. And let me show you the difference that I'm seeing in those that are I'm seeing videos on and what we just received. So ours does not have uh, the pillow that goes here. It has a very thick glass liner with a seal. And so uh, we are testing this out and uh, we will be starting to freeze dry tomorrow. Here's the gentlemen who are working very hard to get that high tunnel up. Woo wait. So you can see behind me, my husband has gone ahead and tilled up much of the front yard. And that's what we're doing with the whole property, guys. We are tilling up everything we can. We've started some pumpkins and some more cantaloupes and some more watermelons and some tubs. And uh, he wants to let them grow on the ground this time around to see if we do better between now and the fall. Sweet potatoes are looking fantastic. They are exploding. They're starting to flower even more. I saw some in here yesterday yep there they are right there so uh we're excited to see what we get with this sweet potato harvest so so far they've gotten uh one two three six of the hoops up guys it's been a lot more difficult than what we thought because it is so big and this metal is so heavy 
that they had to go ahead and put uh, one of the metal poles down the middle and then they have it staked. So uh, we're closing up at the end of the day. It's getting really hot and uh, they will start back on this tomorrow. So I will give you an update tomorrow. So that's the wrap. It's been a busy day. Got lots more to do. Um, Got to get this up in the next couple of weeks so we can start our fall planting. So anyway, if you want to stay tuned, be sure and hit that subscribe button. It's coming along. Take care. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.